Alrighty, it is morning at 8, 8 a.m. and the first full day in Jejudo, so let's have some breakfast. It is really nice and sunny out today. Gotta drive to eat anything unless you're gonna eat at the hotel area again, so found a Korean restaurant that got some good reviews and going to going to see what the food is like. In 300 meters, speed limit is 70 kilometers per hour. So two restaurants that we looked up are closed right now and the third restaurant this time we called finally that one is open so we're gonna go gonna go to the third restaurant right now. We're almost there. Alright, let's see how it is. Oh my god, I tried one of these peppers. It is super spicy. It is hurting my tongue right now. Oh. This is called Hejanko. This is the first time I'm trying it. Wow, that's really boiling. Order some mandu too, dumplings. If you want to know what it looks like, it's just meat and vegetables and uh, slightly spicy soup with rice. <laughs> oh, that was so good. So much food for 11 Canadian dollars. Dumplings was six dollars, this was eleven dollars. It's like half the price of Toronto, Canada. Oh man. They wrote their names or that they ate very well and leaving a thank you note saying they had a good time here, a good meal here. It's all over the restaurant. Just everywhere. We are on our way heading to a waterfall by the ocean. So there are several speed bumps ahead. Dark. Quite scenic route. Looks quite nice. Just a lot of greenery here. Damn. Watch your step. That looks good. We're going down the stairs. <laughs> This is the only waterfall that falls straight into the ocean. In Korea. In Korea, that is. It's difficult to walk around here, but uh, the falls is right there. The water is spraying all the way over here. Damn. That looks nice. I stared at the waterfall for like a good 10-15 minutes. It was just absolutely mesmerizing to look at. I couldn't take my eyes off it. After all those stairs, got a freshly squeezed juice, a type of orange. That's refreshing. This is the top of the waterfall where it leads right there. That is the beginning of the waterfall. That's the edge of the waterfall. You can point it with a marker later. It looks pretty calm from the top, but then it falls. There's a little path near the waterfall. That is Hallasan. It's a dormant volcano in the middle of the island. Turns light right. Alrighty, it's gonna be like uh, an hour and a half to two hour hike. And the path is really well laid out. It's a winding path uphill. 
away from the sun, so it's a bit cool, but still getting a little sweaty walking uphill. It's above ground, as in it's a bit off the ground, the path. Been walking for about 20 minutes now, but feels much longer because <laughs> it's uphill. But there's a nice breeze. It's nice here. Someone on Google Review gave this place a low score because they said it was uphill. They were like, I thought a feeling forest was supposed to be flat and easy to walk on, but this was more difficult than I thought. <laughs> so they left it a low review, even though the path is laid out so nicely. They even have these areas where you can stop and rest. All made of wood. The trees are quite tall. Look at this, very narrow path with rails on the side. And now we're on to the main path, the not paved path. Just a bunch of rocks and dirt. They put a kind of mat on the ground so that it's easier to walk on than the rocks. Working on something here. We arrived at the healing center. Healing center. I guess it's just an AC place with cool air and a place to sit. I'm not sure. Look at this. There's a washroom inside. But it's made out of rock on the outside. That's pretty cool. It's hot in the sun for sure. Alrighty, there are more paths winding up, but we're gonna head back down the main road now. I'm lying down in a rest stop, and it's not super comfortable, because it's just... wood. This is the map of the healing forest. There are many paths and we did not go to the top. All right, back to the car now. That was a nice walk. Oh, it's hot in the sun. It's cool in the shade. Nice little canopy area. We're headed to Oseolok Tea Museum. Not exactly sure what's there, but heard it was recommended. So let's check it out. This is the Osar Lok Tea Museum. So many people going inside. Just a stream of people. It smells good in here, yeah. Whoa, there are a lot of people here. There we go, a bunch of matcha stuff. Nok cha stuff. Look at this, this was about almost 20 bucks. This is a uh, cake and some ice cream. Nice. Green tea, matcha, nokcha. Oh man, this is good. All of this is good. Oh, and it came out immediately, no waiting time. I paid and they just gave it to me immediately. Oh man, that was so good. I think I'm gonna get a stomachache because of all the cold stuff in my stomach now. There's a tea field right there. Look at all that. That's all tea. Tea leaves. It's quite a lot of tea. So I guess this is green tea? A shitload of green tea. Nice little path to a tea terrace. This is the tea terrace, just more seating. Oh, nice and cool in here. All right, bye Osan Lok. It is a hot day. Gonna head back to the hotel even though it's only like 2 p.m.? Not even? What time is it? 
1.44 p.m. right now. Heading back. It's been a full day already. Been out since 8, 8.30. These are acrylic and oil stick paintings. It looks... Oh, they're selling these. They're like... Pashimana is like 8... 80... Oh, they're like... 800 bucks to 2,000 bucks. They look pretty nice. Getting some water at a convenience store near the hotel. And beer for my dad. This is a ramyun library where you just cook any ramyun you want. Instant noodles right there. All the hot water stations and microwaves too. Korean junk food. Korean junk food for sure. haagen ice cream. There's like a huge department store in the basement of this hotel area. Mostly golf stuff. This is what Jeju-do is known for. Hukdeji samgyeopsal, which is black pork. Black. black pork. Black pig. Black pig pork. Black pig pork. <laughs> Alrighty, let's dig in. A little bit more, a little bit more. Oh man, this is really good. Black pork. Black pig. Oh fuck, I am so full. That was good. Just walking around the area. Look at this nighttime outside area. It's in between the luxury shops and restaurants on either side. Already cricket sounds for fall time, even though it's really hot today. Finally cooled down at night. Walking back to the hotel room. Whoa, that was close. I am on my way to check out the swimming pool. Not that I have a swimsuit, I'm just in my underwear and just took a shower, so I'm gonna check it out, see how it, what it's like. I'm not gonna swim, just check it out. This outdoor pool is closed, this leads outside, and there's like a path that goes to outdoor pool, but that closes at 7 p.m. It's almost like 8 p.m. right now, so... Um, yeah, it's all right. Pretty big, pretty big. That's the outdoor pool that that path leads to. Not very big. The indoor pool is bigger. It's 9 p.m. I'm so tired. Been up since 3 or 4 a.m. because of jet lag, so... That was a good end of the day. Just chilling after taking a nice shower. It was so sticky before I took a shower. Alrighty. I'll see you in another career vlog tomorrow. Good night.